For many of us, Yu-Gi-Oh! started as a playground activity, opening packs and using our favorite monsters to beat our friends. However, players have moved to secondary markets like TCG Player to acquire the product they need, skipping the wonders of opening packs. In this series, I'll be building my own competitive deck using $30 every payday. Singles will be off limits and certain products will require a special currency to unlock. This is my journey into sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh! Week 19, Dengirsu Copium. Copium. Dengirsu. No. It, no. No. Well, I want Dengirsu. I hate it here. Well, we pulled a bunch of cards. So we pulled uh, Malefic Selector, Samorg, uh, Melodious Link, some weird fusion robot, Cubic Casualty, Mirage Light. Card of Fate. Can I use this to get my fucking Dengirsu? Omega, uh, Divisor, Wise Strix, Aravis, Synchro Transcend, Last Warrior, Wandering Souls, Divisor, Par Paradox Gear, Vanity's Ruler, Territory, Swordsman, T -t 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 Tour Guide, Orthos, Samorg, Alien Boy. I kind of needed this for snakes. And Thelion, and fucking Angeli. Hello, welcome to episode 19. Uh, the recording for the actual opening. I don't know what happened. So to go over the cards, um, we got a call. We th this is the best card we got. We got called by uh, Concorso de Meadas, Elf, Elf Ditch Altergeist card. Amo the Crystal, Altergeist card, Shadow Construct, uh, Fresh Dish Start, uh, some sort of fucking cat, Yajiro Invader, a Goki, a Battery Man, uh, a Trick Star, Vendred Shit, some Spirit Pendulum, uh, Delphindium, whatever the fuck she is. Uh, La Puila and Multifaker. So, um, sorry you can't get the live poll, but I don't know what happened to OBS, so there it is, baby. See y'all next episode. Well, now. Alright, well, welcome to the the one deck edit. Oh, God. One one step at a time. By the way, I call, grabbed this called by out of my fucking Raider after deck. I don't feel like searching through the endless fucking commons of, that I have right now. But, yes, we're dropping a Mothman for a called by. Um, called by should help. It. I would rather have Succession right now. So, um, it's nice that we're finally dropping Mothman because they they really feel like they don't do much. Um, a lot of times we're going to be activating Mothman, pitching it, and then just pitching something that doesn't do anything. It's nice when we have a larger influx of Orcus monsters, but we can't really do that. So, that is the deck change. I hope you enjoyed the games. Yeah. Match one, we're up against our good pal Nick and his finale list of sealed only blue eyes. Goddamn time goes by fast. We're going first, redeploying for our Citadel Fortress, pitching Citadel to summon Fortress, then use Recycler to climb to our inboard of Galatea, setting Babel, overlaying for Dingirsu, setting a card, and passing. Nick starts with a trade in, then Melody adding Alt White and Vanilla Blue Eyes. He summons Sage, adding Valor. He summons Alt White, forcing us to protect Ding with its effect. He uses Nebula Dragon to summon it itself and Budes, then summons Spiral Dragon from Grave. He synchros for Spirit, then Monster Reborn's Alt White, popping Fortress and negating Citadel with Spirit. He makes Hope Harbinger and Draglubian, summoning Numeron Dragon, which we crack down, forcing him to pass. We start by linking into Galatea, then summon Possessed Orge, reviving Citadel. We activate Nightmare, which gets negated by Spirit Dragon, so we chain Galatea to set Crescendo. We Skeleton for Ding, sending Hope Harbinger and Nick Spirit Dragons into Moonlight Dragon, bouncing Citadel. We make Unicorn shuffling Moonlight for some reason, and link into Galatea passing. With Dragaloo being summoning Hope Harbinger and an Effect Veiler, Nick is able to control the game state and easily take the first game. Game 2, we're going first, redeploying for Citadel and Possessed Orge. 
Hitching Citadel to Summon Fortress. We use Scrapter to Orcus combo, then activate Einsatz, set one, and pass, to which Nick Feather Duster sets two and passes back. We start by pitching one for Babel, and Nick flips IO. We Nightmare for Skeleton and Wand for Nightmare, then we shuffle Wand for Crescendo, then overlay into Ding, which gets judgmented. This allows us to Skeleton for Galatea and swing for Lethal. This last game versus Nick is a doozy. 14 turns, although these ones are always super close. Nick misclicks going first, but ends on Link Rebo and Butes passing. Unfortunately for us, with Double Valor, he's able to holo us off of combo for a few turns. But we're able to overdrive into Citadel on turn 5, pressuring Nick's board state. He trades in, then melodies for alt White and Levianir. He shrines for Legends, then goes into the battle phase, forcing us Citadel. He then summons alt White and Levianir, reviving Budes. He then Silver Cries for another Budes, then summons Sanifond and Draglubian, summoning Hope Harbinger. Luckily, we have a second Scrapper Cycle in hand, allowing us to get into Dingirsu, sending Draglubian, setting one, and passing. Nick summons Alt White, triggering Einsatz, which is negated by Hope Harbinger. He goes to swing over Ding, but we damage step Nightmare to win Battle vs. Sanifon. However, Hope Harbinger boosts itself, swinging in for a ton of damage and forcing us to use Ding to protect itself. He then uses Alt White in main 2 to destroy Ding and pass. With one for Nightmare and Skeleton for Ding, we're able to remove Hope Harbinger, summoning Galatea, and setting Crescendo. Nick starts by activating Ancients, which we call by the target, forcing him to just attack over Galatea. In main 2, he then summons Sage, adding Valor, and synchroing into Spirit Dragon. Nick is able to hold off our attempt to get a foothold with Spirit Dragon and Valor, but with two triggers of Einsatz, we're able to summon Ding on his turn, sending Azure Eyes, but he just swings over Recycler with Budes and passes. With a solid way of getting to Galatea, we're able to get a nice foothold into the game, finally, and swing for the match. Match 2, we're up against Onyx's Dragon Mage. We're going first, starting by setting one and summoning Gearframe, searching Citadel. We pitch Citadel for Fortress and activate Mothman, pitching it, drawing into Skeleton and discarding Wand, passing. Onyx starts by setting three and activating Hospitality for Ernest, passing back. We summon Skeleton, linking for Galatea, then linking for Unicorn. We target Ernest, but are met with a Tainocider. We Skeleton for Galatea, then Wand for Skeleton, linking into Long Gearsu, making Ding Gearsu, attaching Wand. We move to battle, swinging over Ernest and passing. With the chamber off the top, Onyx is able to get to Shao, which is hard to deal with in and of itself, eh, especially with a set Tainocider, allowing Onyx to stop us from playing, remove our board, and swing for game one. Game 2, we're once again going first, using the Scrap Recycler to climb to Ding plus Babel. We set a card and pass. Onyx activates Welcome, then sets 2 and summons Kitchen, adding and pitching Tin Keck. He moves to battle, summoning Tin Keck, to which we Dynamicious, forcing him to pass the turn. We start by wanding for Nightmare, then summon Bombard, linking for Galatea, shuffling Wand for Crescendo, attacking in, setting 1, and passing. Onyx starts by summoning Parlor, dumping Changeover. He activates Changeover to bounce back to hand, then activates Changeover to Fusion Summon, which fiends our crescendo. We're able to swing for lethal over a few turns, having to deal with Onyx's scapegoats, and being a fucking idiot about it. Game 3, Onyx is going first, setting 2 and summoning Laundry, milling 3 and passing. We start by setting 2 and summoning Recycler, going into Galatea, setting Babel with a wand. Healing into Unicorn, which gets met with Titan Cider. Great. We try and Skeleton for Galatea, but Onyx uses Tidying to make Skeleton blink effect, forcing us to pass. Despite our Solemn Strike and Dynamicious, Onyx is able to climb to his fusion and is able to take the game easily. Match 3, we're going against Eo Poplaroni 6 Sims. We're going first, using Scraptor to end on Galatea, Babel with 2 set cards, passing. Our opponent starts with Smoke Signal for Gageki, summoning it, summoning Mizuho. They summon Grandmaster and link into Isold, fiending our Dynamicious. They Prosperity for 3, adding Shinai and passing. This allows us to overdrive into Citadel, make Ding on our turn to clear up the board and swing for game 1. Game 2, our opponent's going first, smoke signaling for Mizuho. They activate Dojo, then summon a Mizuho, Grandmaster and Shinai, then Dojo for Kageki. They link for Isold, adding Kageki, then send for Fiku Zaru, adding another Kageki. They link for Battle Shogun, then activate Gateway, then pass. 
This allows us to climb to Galatea, setting Crescendo with a Babel, Fortress with an extra set, which our opponent can't push through, allowing us to swing for game the following turn. Woo! Two and one again, baby. I don't know what to say. The deck, the deck is working. It it works. Um, we're losing to Dragon Maid. I'll be again. I just can't beat that deck. That's Onyx. I can't be Onyx when it's playing Dragon Maids with this deck. Kind of crazy. But anyway, um, the deck's feeling all right. You know, the past couple weeks with fucking Ding. By the way. We still haven't received him in the fucking mail. We're like structure deck guy. Where's our fucking mail? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't received fucking Dingirsu uh, in the mail yet. I don't even know where the fuck the card is. The fu whatever. What? What the fuck ever? Anyway, let me not ramble. <laughs> anyway. The deck feels nice. Um, we're t sort of turning our win record around. I think. If I double check, I think we're what, like 21 and 42? And obviously the one draw. Not bad. Um, it, we're going to be still pulling for World Legacy Succession. We need other stuff, probably like Boral Sword. Something a really, you know, fucking bing bang boom big number go brr kind of thing. That's something we need to pull. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I always save these for like the last night. I'm always editing like the entire video on like Wednesday and Thursday fucking night. I hate myself for it. But you know what would, would not make me hate myself? Join my Discord down below and you can fight me for sealed only. So that'd be cool. <laughs> Um, I always have a struggle trying to find sealed only games, but let's not ramble any longer. Let's end the video. <laughs> also, Monday, I uh, uh, Monday the uh, shit, uh, the Monday the twenty third, we will be streaming, you know our usual Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but we will also be deck building for our goal list. So if you want a say in our final goal list, and if you want to watch us build it. Go ahead and over head over to twitch.tv slash the chewcast and I will see you all at Monday, August 23rd at 6 p.m. EST. So I hope you all uh, comment subscribe really helps to know if you want to see more, you know where to look. Bye bye.